So following on from the last video guide, we've now connected our eMumpy to our home Wi-Fi network, um, installed that eMumpy next to our utility meter, clipped the CT round, um, CT sensors round uh, um, single phase AC wires, and powered up the units. We've logged into eMumpyMS the same way as before by browsing to the IP address shown on the LCD display and logging in using the credentials of the account we created earlier. And we're greeted by the MonCMS My Account page, where you can see the read and write API keys. We'll come to where these can be useful in a minute. Let's go take a look at the nodes interface. This shows um, what nodes are active in the MonPy. So the first one is the MonPy itself. These are sensors connected locally to the MonPy. The MonTX and the MonTH show um, nodes that the EMONPI is, is receiving data from wirelessly. I've got a couple of these active uh, in the house. The EMONTH is a temperature and humidity room node, and the uh, EMONTX is another energy monitoring node. Um, take these values here with a pinch of salt because I have naturally the sensors clipped around the uh, clip around the cable because I'm just uh, just here in the lab um, doing testing. So these uh, values here um, they're not being logged; they're just being displayed. So if we want to log them to the MonPy, we can log them locally to Emon CMS, so we can view uh, view graphs over time. Um, let's do that now. So we hit the little little spanner icon there. Choose log to feed. Uh, this drop down box here shows the various input processes we can apply to the the input before we log it to a feed. For example, we could uh, apply a calibration scalar, uh, multiply or divide by another input, and then log the result into a feed. Um, so lots of options here, but let's let's keep it simple. So we're just going to log this power value straight to a feed, and we're going to call it power. And choose an interval um, that, uh, obviously, the um, the longer the interval, the less disk, disk space it'll take up, but the less resolution your data. Ten seconds is about a good point for for power data. And when it comes to power, we're also interested in how much energy is consumed over the day. So we're going to apply this input process power to kilowatts per day, which will convert our instantaneous power value into a daily kilowatt hour per day figure. Log that again. Um, I'll also log um, from the TH here. I've got a temperature and humidity value. So we'll, ju we'll just go ahead and uh, um, log log these. Call it temp temp temperature. The TH posts data every 60 seconds. There's no reason to log faster than that. In fact, for, for temperature and humidity, we could easily get away with recording every sort of five or ten minutes. But we'll go for 60 seconds to maximize the resolution. I'll do the same for humidity. So now if we go into the feed section, um, we need to wait for the wait a few seconds for the one TH to update, and you'll see these feeds are being created. Uh, with the value, there we go. There's the data coming from the MonTH, and if we are so, this data here is is now being logged um, locally to the MonPy's SD card, and we can view a graph of it here by clicking there um, on the little eye icon. Uh, we've only been logging for a few seconds, so there's no data to view here. Um, but if there was, we can zoom in day, day, week, month, year, and create boxes. Um, but we'll, we'll come through to uh, dashboards at a later date. So, just to recap, we've now got our data um, coming in. We can see it's updating nicely um, from the MonPy and a couple of um, uh, RF uh, remote nodes that, that I also happen to have here. And uh, we're logging the data to the MonPy's SD card. In the next video guide, we'll cover. Um, configuring um, Emon Hub in more detail from the Emon Hub section here. And uh, we'll also cover 
um, now we've got the data, how we can view the data on dashboards and um, also the new the new apps section of Emon CMS.